Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Daddy Issues, back again. But uh, today we're gonna take a look at uh, big old Mardok and why he's such a uh, powerhouse character that has so much fucking uh, damage output. It's insane. It's probably one of the best damage outputs in the game just because of Mardok's uh, his tackle. It's his it's Mardok's gimmick, his tackle. It's extremely strong. Oh. Extremely strong and makes his character uh, such a mess. It really is a, <laughs> a terrifying um, mix up. And it's quite deadly, especially since he has so many ways to get to that uh, tackle stance. And that is one of the uh, Mardok's uh, big, um, big game plan is to try and get in that tackle, try and get in the mix ups. He has a, a lot of moves that will um, just get straight into a mix up and then boom, tackle 60 70% of your health. And his rage drive was also on um, a giant tackle, which makes it even more terrifying. Which is, uh, it's just absolutely fucked. <laughs> Mardok is just a fucked character. But so I thought I'd go for Mardok today. Just a normal, simple guy. Mardok don't want to do anything too fancy. So first off, we'll just start with the usual jab strings. But Mardok's Mardok's is a bit different just because he has a he has a lot of options. Um, from doing one two, he can just go straight into his um his stance. So you can do 1, 2, then 3 plus 4, and Mark will straight, straight, go straight into his stance. Then you just go straight into a tackle, just like that. But I believe there's also... Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. It's been a while. Oh. You can also do um, 1, 2, then forward 1, which will do um, an elbow, which I, I think it's... Um, just test, I believe it's a counter hit. Uh, launcher. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, I believe it is uh, counting launcher, but I think you have to do a special combo for it. So we'll just, uh, yeah. Uh, just checking, yeah, you just have to do a special launch for it. Just double checking that. And then... He also has a, um, a 4 2 one which is... Um, it's, it's a strong tool. It's a uh, high high, but on... Um, if it hits, you get a, a launch. But the hitting in both fronts, I think it's only uh, on counter it. So it's going to be a uh, check. Yeah, only on counter it you'll get that um, to connect unless your opponent somehow for a reason um, just presses during that. But the, these are just two basic moves from model already, and they're already pretty strong, even though that they're both uh, high strings. So it's really strong. And then model also has his back, uh, back one too, which is um, extremely strong. It also, um, uh, if you do a combo. Oh, it's gonna be just like quickly. Oh, that's not that's what I wanted. Let me just quickly uh, do a quick little combo. If you do want a combo like this, the last hit is guaranteed and it'll do a, a hell of damage. That's quite insane. But um, speaking of strings, uh, he also has down forward 1, uh, down forward 1, 2. Oh, oh, down forward 1, 2. Oh, down forward, uh, down forward 3 into 1, 2. So. Oh. And that will go into tackle stance as well. And then, just like that, there's so many ways to get into tackle stance. There's also um, down back 3 4, which is um, a low mid string. It's also a mix up, so you can do uh, down back 3 4, or you can do down back 3 into uh, down back 3 4, uh, 1 plus 2. So down back 3, then press 4, then quickly press 1 plus 2, and you'll go straight into stance. Uh, which is pretty pretty strong, but um, I'll talk more about the stance now since that's uh, Mark's uh, primary tool. But basically, uh, he has three ways that he can mainly get the stance. Um, three plus four, you just go straight into stance. You can cancel it at any time. Um, you can also press a three plus four and then three plus four and then sideways or sideways or um, up. Oh, I should say down or up. So you can so you can do that. Oops. <laughs> so you can do that to your arm. Um, Make your opponent whiff, and then while they're recovering, you get them to tackle, and then they get your mix up, and you'll do quite a lot of damage. So there's that option, and then there's also um, down forward uh, free plus four, which will make Mardok actually he'll jump towards them, so he'll get in a ready stance, and he'll actually get he'll get uh, closer to the opponent, it's like that. It's uh, I wouldn't say it's the best, but uh, it's decent. Um, the best version I'd say is uh down back 3 plus 4 and Mark actually jumps away. He jumps away, 
jumps away, then you go straight into it, just like that, and it covers a lot of distance. That's uh, should be good, I'd say. It's like from this distance, L hit. So you can use that. Your opponent wish to just uh, go straight in, but in this stance, the tackle is not the only thing you have to worry about. Monarch has multiple tools in this uh, stance. He has his uh, power crush. He has his power crush, which is uh, I think it's four two. Yeah. He has his power crush is 4-2, which is also a uh, wall bounce, and it's an armor move as well. So, so um, when you're in the tackle, when you go to the stance, a lot of people will be like, "Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go straight from me. He's gonna, he's gonna tackle me. I'm gonna hop kick or something, or I'm just going to, uh, or I'm just going to jump, <laughs> or I'm just gonna press one plus two and try to break it." But you can go into stance and then you can mix up with a mix up. So you can either tackle, you can uh, do four, t uh, four two. You can also do, um, I believe. Down 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, which is also uh, a very strong uh, low mid, I guarantee. And then with this stance, you can also do it extremely fast, so you can just you can go straight into it. You can just press the stance button and just go straight into it. And then you can also do it as well with um, with the back stance as well, so you can go back and then just like that. There's a lot of things you can do with my lock style stance. Uh, I believe it's also a launch for if you do free. Yep. So you can launch by pressing free and get just a simple combo. It's like that. Uh, very, very uh, easy and efficient uh, to uh, to use these stands. Uh, nothing too difficult. You also just uh, four as well. Uh, while rising four from that stand, so there's um there's quite a quite a decent uh, amount of moves you can do with Mardok just from that one stance alone, while also mixing it up into tackles. Um, that's quite uh, scary. It's extremely scary, I'd say. But that's only his tackle game. He has a lot of tools. He also has a uh, a shove. He has a shove. He shares this with King and Armor King. But the thing about Mardok's um push, if he hits a uh, counter it, he gets a free down hold one launch, which then can be uh, of course uh, converted into huge damage. Uh, you can just get so much from him. And with Mardok, his combos are extremely easy to do uh, for the most part. He has extremely easy combos to do. That uh, do so much damage for no reason. It's absolutely bizarre. It, it's crazy how much uh, damage he'll do. But um, there's also some advanced combos you can uh, you can launch some, but then you can just um, you can grab them. Oh, but you cannot even do it. But you can grab them uh, from midair. He shares that with Gigas. You can just grab them from midair like that. And you can do it uh, multiple ways. Every, every throw uh, variation, you can uh, do it. And each will have different properties, of course. So let me just quickly show all through. The last one, the one, okay. Yeah, and it's quite insane, uh, but the uh, command grab is the most damage. It's uh, 60 damage just by grabbing someone out of the air normally. But you can do quite the combos and end it with a grab like that, but uh, doing that. Uh, I'll try to show an example here. Because it can be uh, quite difficult. Just like that, 67 damage, but usually you're supposed to get one more jab in there, but it's quite difficult, so I have to go and do the version without the extra jab. It's uh, quite a pain, but on the top of your grabs, uh, Monarch also has ground grabs, which do uh, tremendous amounts of damage. So, of course, you're at the wall, uh, you, do, you do mix up, oops, you do mix up setup from the wall. Well, that's crazy. Also, Monarch with um, his up forward uh, fall, he doesn't have a normal kick, he just has this for his, uh, for his supposed top kick. But if this hits, you get a guaranteed uh, grab option on the floor. So you can just uh, get a guaranteed grab option on the floor, just like that. Or you can just do uh, down back two and get a free um, uh, ground hit. Also, down back two, uh, well, hit on the hit on ground, it's also a full cool screw, just so you're, if you're wondering. Uh, extremely, extremely strong move. Uh, it's mid as well. You can use it as a poke if you really wanted to. I don't know if it has any kit uh, uh, charge properties. Uh, okay, it does, but it only goes into a corkscrew, so you won't get too much of a combo. You'd probably just do the, um, the grab ender. You'd probably just want to do something like uh, this. Oh, I can't even do it. Oh, yeah, first one to do. Uh, uh, you get the idea. It takes a lot of time to get the grab uh, combos down to my dog. It just uh, requires a lot of um, input uh, and. Uh, time uh, practice, of course, but every character does at, the, at this point. We tech in, but um, so he has a lot of uh, powerful grabs. He also has uh, command grabs. He's a giant swing, but 
My uh, <laughs> execution makes like uh, this is his giant swing version. But then he also has a um, a quarter circle back uh, throw version as well. Oh. Oh. I can get it. There we go. Took a bit. Yeah. Right. So he's a strong program as well with his uh, uh, his uh, mix-ups as well. So it's absolutely crazy. Uh, the amount of damage you can get from throws that's crazy and then with his command throw of course he gets a uh, free combo off this so you can do quite a lot there uh, I'll still uh, I'll still quickly uh, not optimize combo real quick oh. uh, that was a big mistake Oopsie. but okay so oh I even dropped it <laughs> we got one more chance but you guys get the idea not meant to, not meaning to go on all the attack, I meant to do this string. Well, it's been a while since I've uh, put some actual time into Marduk. I learned to him that I saw Joey Fury and I was like, man, I'll never uh, get my Marduk to that level. So I stopped, in, uh, stopped playing for a while. But with Marduk, he, he has a lot of bad moves as well. His uh, Wild Rising game is very weak, so if you're going to punish, it's usually <laughs> you'll get your Wild Rising 4, which uh, of course is it's decent, but then. You'll get something like this. Uh, something that's it's not too good, and you also get a Wire Rising 2. And then you'll get his launch with Wire Rising 3, but uh, they're all very slow and very little uh, damage. It's kind of it's kind of embarrassing his, uh, his Wire Rising game, but then again, he has so many tools to make up for it. And he also has uh, Crouching Grabs, but uh, I can't remember how to do them, but yeah, no. he can grab by being crashed as well. I think he can. Um, oh. I was trying to see if he had any um, uh, what any grab attempts from uh, from craft position, but I can't remember. It's been a while. But as I said, this is only a basic guide. What tools you want to focus on? And speaking of tools you want to focus on, um, his down one is a very uh, good mid. I'd say it's good for pressuring the opponent, good for catching your opponent out. Just a nice down one. And then you can also do um, down for two one, which is a uh, Mid mid string, but it's uh, I believe it's punishable, but it's also a corkscrew string, so you can use that for corkscrew. But you can also uh, delay it as well, so it's um, so it can be very good. So you can confirm it basically. And then you also have uh, up back one plus two, which is also a good pressure tool, hits ground as well, it's extremely strong. And then you also have um, down one plus two, which uh, which of course launches it's a very strong uh, move as well, and then. Yeah, forward 1 plus 2, which is his power crush, it's uh, not very good. He also has down forward 1 plus 2, down forward 1 plus 2, which is another mid. Uh, I, I really wouldn't use that, you don't really see it too often. And then you also have uh, up forward 1 plus 2, which is a hide, which goes into a launch. And you can just get your normal combo, of course. Uh, but as I said, it is very easy combos, except for the grab combos, which can be very difficult, because to do them correctly, you'll, you'll do jabs, in the stance, you see your jab, in the stance, cancel stance, and then jab. So you can basically, oh, so you basically, oh, you can jab. Oh. That's what I mean by it can be a bit difficult. So you can jab, oh. jab. Oh. It's just difficult, <laughs> especially, especially when you get to the more advanced stuff in Minecraft. But that's the. This is the only difficult part because you can uh, wall carry like that, you can wall spot like that, you can do a lot of uh, wall things like that. But um, now with Monarch, his punish game is quite a bit weak. Uh, you have to really keep an eye out for punishes because usually um, with punishes you'll do down forward one, uh, down forward one, uh, down forward two. Oh wait, no, I oh, know down forward four one. My bad, down forward four. I oh, know down forward four two. A bit rusty, a bit rusty. Down forward uh, four two. Uh, guaranteed uh, or natural combo, I could say, but that that's only um that's his a uh, bigger punish. Um, usually you'd want to do uh I think it's down two four. Yeah, down two four is uh is probably his main punish. Um, which uh, it's it's decent, it's decent for a punish. It does thirty six damage. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's I think it's a twelve three punish. I could be wrong. You just have to. Be careful and just have the fish for punches with it, I guess. And then, um, uh, also has, uh, he's tracking me down back two. Very weird, I don't believe it has any, uh, counter hit properties it might. Okay, it does. 
So you're back to your tracks and counter hit while uh, launch, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. And then um, Red Monarch, he's, he also has a very uh, weak low game as well. He's down, he's down for, he's pretty generic. He's down four, which I believe is actually launch punishable. This, this, this uh, little low is actually launch punishable. Uh, it's, it's not too good. And then he has a down back four, which is a, it's, it's a troll move. It's really is a troll move. You'll use that on your opponent, you'll get back up. They'll, they'll try to do something, you just down back for him. And you just use that to troll him. Um, it's a very bizarre move. And then, uh, and then uh, he has quite a, uh, he has a few counter, uh, not counter, um, he has a few quarter circle moves. He's quarter circle, uh, quarter circle two, four quarter circle two. He's actually really good on counter hit, and will give you uh, a fuck ton of damage. 60 damage for a low on counter hit. And it's pretty hard to see coming as well. It's very, uh, it's very quick. So, and online, that is, uh, brutal as well, because you'll be just, even if you get caught moving, boom. You get hit by that, you'll take so much damage. It's absolutely absurd. And you have quarter circle, uh, three. Uh, yeah. You gotta do it <laughs> correctly, of course. It's a, uh, big knee. It's just a big knee that launches. It's a... Very odd launch, I'd say. I I, I would never really use it. Uh, it's it's just it's just a move that's there, that variety, I guess. But Mark doesn't really even have a uh, quarter circle um, animation to see. But he also has a quarter circle one, which is a just a big launch, I guess. Uh, It's a big launch, but uh, I don't think you'd use it that much, uh, personally. It doesn't seem uh, too good, but you can also do core circle 1-2. Uh, so, so if your opponent blocks and they go to punch it, they'll get caught out by the 2, most likely. And then, with that, uh, Monarch also has the, uh, his 4-4-3, 4 4 4 3 Four four three two is a massive launcher if you can hit it, uh, counter it. But mostly this will be used to uh, hit someone on the wall. But if you can hit, if you can hit this counter hit and get an actual launch, then he'll get massive damage. Like massive eighty six. It, it's crazy how much uh, damage you'll get off that. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then I'm sure you'd forget a lot of damage if you grab on that as well. Yeah, eighty six damage by, just by grabbing them. It's Absolutely absurd. It, it's crazy uh, how many um, strong, powerful moves he has. Like they just do big damage. He has a, he has a very short move. I think it's only like something like uh, 60. Let me just complete. Uh, check. Actually, he's got decent moves, but uh, a lot of them are throws, of course. But. Uh, there's only, there's only very few tools we use. As um, if anyone's following the pro scene and is following uh, Joey Fury, uh, he, when he went to um, the PAX tournament recently, he showed that with Mardog you can do so much with so little. He just basically uh, is set up for grabs uh, for his um, ultimate tackle, and he just got so much out of it. It was absolutely insane. But with Mardog you can also uh, get some counter hit uh, forward freeze, uh, up forward freeze. And counter hit uh, four three as well. They they both uh, launch on counter. They're extremely strong. Uh, you can you can use them as a uh, normal mid uh, pushing tools as well. They're both mids. They're extremely strong. But now let me quickly uh, actually before I do that, uh, Mark also has a back forward. Uh, uh, one he has a back forward, uh, back forward, forward uh, one plus two and then two. So. It does quite a lot against the wall. I think it's his uh, max damage wall combo. I could be wrong about that. I want the cactus like, but his max damage wall combo is extremely strong. But now I want to get to a map uh, or stage of walls. Let's show you uh, a bunch of stuff that you can do at the walls. That's absolutely um, ridiculous. Like his wall damage and output is absolutely insane. I'll just try and do a, a simple combo, get to the wall, and just show you, just show you why he's uh, insane at the wall. It does quite a lot. Because you can also grab off the wall, you can also do his, uh, grab off the, uh, full grab off the wall, so let me just, uh, oh. oh. 
Alright, I'll, I'll do a different coin just because that one uh, doesn't align well. Oh. Okay, actually, that didn't actually reach to that. Let me, um. Oh, let's do it from here. Oh, actually. Yeah, that was bad. I'll just wall splat. I'll just wall splat. Let's see. What can I use to. Oh, actually. Yeah, that gives me time to grab. But just like that, 40 damage. 40 damage from just grabbing him off the wall. But then you can also do something like uh, this. Get up to the wall. Actually, me. Actually. Yeah, let me do your core circle version here. Core circle version here. I can get even landed, that is. Now I run away up, and then here you go. Boom. Just like that. Quite a little damage. And now, let me uh, let me just show you something. Oh, that was not supposed to. Actually, let me just uh, realign it to the wall. Oh, if I can <laughs> if you were to line up to the wall, that'd be uh, fantastic, but. That is quite a lot, but I didn't get it the way I wanted to. Actually, let me. Like, look at that damage. As <laughs> you just saw from that grab, he lost so much health. It's actually stupid how strong that is. Uh, extremely stupid, actually. And then you can also mix it up and. Uh, it depends on how they are set up to the wall. You might be able to just, uh, let's see. Oh, that bit too early. Let me just uh, realign it. Uh, if you want one, if you actually want to realign, please. Oh. Let's see about the eye. They don't want to realign. Okay, here we are. Oh, let me do that. Again, <laughs> just the wall spot, please. Uh, actually, can I just, I'll just do this. Alright, now I know it won't work. Um, actually, here we are. I keep getting that because I keep trying to um, ignore what I'm saying. I'm just, uh, I'll just wait. Oh, still impatient, I'll just wait. I missed it, but you can get a you can basically get another combo from the wall. It's a uh, extremely insane. You can get another combo from the wall. It's extremely stupid, but now let me just go straight into the to the rage. So I did that extremely poorly, and I apologize. But Marlox Rage, it's extremely extremely strong. It works in three ways. You can use it three ways basically. You can connect it with the person, which will do a hell of a lot of damage if it hits. Boom, well, 87 damage just from that rage drive. But now, if I do it from this distance, I get them, I get a mix up. I can do down two, and hit, hit them with a low, and they'll go straight into tackle. A lot of damage. Or I can. Or I can just do normal two, and I'll hit them with a mid. That's so that way. It's, it's a mix up, but uh, certain characters. I think certain characters can actually jump over it like that, but it all depends, so you could also just sit there, you could also get back up, you could do absolutely nothing. So the opponent has, has to guess quite a lot of things uh, that's going on. But now, what makes this even more broken is... Oh, okay, that was uh, side splat, but I was um, I'll do this. It can connect off a corkscrew, so you can emphasize your combos quite a lot. It's absolutely bizarre. I don't. I'm pretty sure you can't get off a wall though. Yeah, let me just uh, quickly get back up. I can go to realign. Hopefully, he'll realign here. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't. You can't get off a wall like that at all. But now, since I showed you that, you can also go into that little mix-up by um. Uh, forward one plus three, uh, no, forward one plus four, you will do a dive tackle like this, which is a mid, you can also hit opponents, and as they get back up, catch them off like that, and then boom, strength and mix up. It's 
stupid crazy how how much of a beast this character is. But you guess wrong twice with this character and you're basically dead. And it's such a uh, a brute uh, display of strength. He really is just absolutely He's great wow, he's, he's six actually no, I think he's seven foot. A seven foot giant that actually just murders his opponents. It's it's stupid. It's, it, <laughs> quite honestly, it's stupid. But if you're playing the maintenance guy or playing, well, good news, not many people um, actually play this guy, so you won't run into any mirror matches, or very often at least. He's, he's a very rare character to see, and then. So you won't have to be worrying about getting uh, tackled yourself, but a little anti um, model tackle. Uh, uh, knowledge here, if he's if he's in this position, he's running up to you like that. You can actually you can just hop kick straight up. You can just hop kick. I don't know, that hop kick. We can hop kick straight up, which will launch him, of course. You can also, uh, if he goes to hit you, you can press one plus two to break the grab straight away. But if Marduk has you like this, you have three choices. You can press one to break. You can press uh, press two to break. And then I believe with uh, the 1 plus 2 option, I believe you do absolutely nothing for that to break. So it's a 33% uh, chance to break the mix-up, but uh, you can also... You can do like multiple options out of it. You can uh, you can press uh, both grab options and Marduk will do something else. Which will do a little more damage, but I have no idea if the breaks are the same. I haven't uh, checked yet, but they do a lot of damage. It looks cool. It plays fantastic, especially when your opponent just keeps getting caught by these uh, tackles. It's very frustrating to reverse, of course, just because Marduk is just a powerhouse, especially with his rage drive damage. It's just absolutely disgusting. And then, of course, Marduk's rage drive, I, I believe, just. Uh, actually, what is it? Oh, yeah. Back 1 plus 2. Uh, but with this. Uh, actually, what can you do? Uh, I don't think it does. It's always better if you get a corkscrew. It's always better the rage drive. Uh, the risk, uh, it's, it's risk is worth the reward. If you, especially if, if the opponent blocks your rage drive, you get the chance to um, mix them up. If they get hit by the rage drive, you have a 33% chance of doing massive damage. Or if you launch your opponent and get them to corkscrew, you'll hit them with the rage drive damage. But then you can also hit them with the uh, throw damage from that. So it's uh, you can get quite a lot of uh, reward out of it. But you can also just use uh, Monarch's normal uh, Rage Art. So I'll just um, do a normal combo here. That's an easy one, so it's uh, aligned. But uh, do be aware, Monarch's uh, Rage Art is one of the longest in the game to uh, to watch. But pretty strong nonetheless. But I'll do the exact same thing I just did there, but with the Rage Drive. Um, Just to show, I already passed the rage out damage. It did uh, 40 more damage. It's uh, it's stupid. It's actually stupid. But now let me just talk about what. Well, with Monarch, I haven't played him that much, so I'll talk about what I would do for my game plan. Well, if, if when I'm playing Monarch or when I would be playing Monarch, I would be playing very defensively. I would be trying to uh, wait for my opponent to do something. I would, if it's someone like Kazuya, for example, I would. All the time, I would be um, doing off one tackle uh, sidestep because because he's weak to left side. So if he's if I do that and he's whiffing, I can just grab him. He won't break it, of course, and then off one tackle. But if it's uh, another character I'm not too familiar with sidestepping with, I will just uh, I won't really go into normal tackle. Uh, I might get in their face. I might give me some plus frames, then push him to tackle. Uh, or if they break the tackle, I'll go straight into tackle again. I'll sidestep, I think I'll, I'll make it look like I'm doing something, I'll go straight to tackle for the third time. Because his tackle is quite strong. If, if they're just breaking it, or there's uh, getting hit by it, I'll keep going to tackle form, of course. And then I would go and tackle, break the tackle, and then I'll try mixing them up. But then I'd also go into tackle, I might try uh, doing his wall bounce, so I'm just quickly... Uh, hit the opponent over here, so the opponent's right here next to the wall. I'm over here, I'll do the forward jumping... Uh, Jumping uh, ultimate tackle. I'll go into the ultimate uh, tackle stance from a distance, so like this, and I'll do forward two, get into the wall, and then, boom. 
big damage. But of course that, that's relying on the opponent uh, guessing wrong. Of course, but then if I'm not doing ultimate attack one, I'm just trying to uh, I'm just trying to play very um, poke based. Uh, then I'll be I'll be doing a lot of jab string, just uh, all of um, one twos into stance, and then I will cancel the stance, or I'll one two, or I'd one two. Uh, do one two and then I would one two and then I'll just do like a rising four or something that isn't uh, too bad to do something quick something uh, easy my catch off guard who knows but uh, that's how I would go about his tackle in the, in those situations but if I was playing very um poked very respecting of the opponent I would uh, be doing a lot of course over twos for sure of course over twos uh, of course over twos and then I will try and play the stance. I'll try to play the stance up whenever I get a chance. But if I was feeling cheeky, I would do this string just to make sure that they're uh, expecting a move to come out. But it's a fake to that. And then you can also fake into other moves as well. So it's quite a lot you can do with that. And then I would also try and fish uh, for this move as well. I'd try and do that. Try catch him off guard. Uh, long range whip. Him like that as they're getting up. Catch him. Boom. Ultimate attack. A lot of damage. Just like that. It's, cra it's crazy how many uh, setups Mario can do. And then, if anything, I might uh, I might try and get a uh, grab uh, combo setup as well. Oh, I dropped it, of course. But I'll be trying to get a grab setup. I'll also be doing his quarter circle uh, back grab. It does like, a lot of damage. I wouldn't really use his, um, his giant swing, especially since... There's so many mix-ups to do, but uh, there's a lot you can do. There's a lot you can do, and then if your opponent also, uh, I forgot to mention this, but if your opponent's doing jabs quite a lot, you can also do a uh, parry. You can do a grab parry, which will go straight into ultimate tackle. You'll you force yourself on top of them, and you'll you know ultimate tackle. If you uh, parry a jab, it's a uh, very strong, uh, very strong, especially if your opponent's being very predictable. But you can also fish for just a 1 plus 2 if this hits. You get a guaranteed launcher, down forward 1 launcher. And then, of course, you just do a lot of damage, you just absolutely shred. That's, that's, am <laughs> that's amazing what this character can do uh, with his range and his mix ups and his ultimate tackle. It's, it's his main gimmick, it's, it's probably his main source of damage. Because he, his launchers are. Oh, this, it's a 15 frame launcher, so it's going to be harder to punch a lot of stuff with it, or get a launch. But you can definitely whiff a uh, launch of it. Uh, but a lot of times you'll be fishing for, um, like, up forward, uh, up forward 1 plus 2, you get a combo from that, or you might, uh, 4 forward 3, uh, 3 2. Or you might even get a down, um, down 1 plus 2, it all depends, those are probably his primary launches. But there's so many ways you can play this character. Jerry Fury recently took mine up to the next level in tournament, beat absolutely everyone, little margin included. So who knows? You might um you might play this character, and you might find your unique style. You might find you might find man, I don't need ultimate tackles. I I can fish and do this, or I might play my king. I might just play him as a grappler rather than a um, ultimate tackle uh, mix-up king. But it all depends on how you play him, or how you want to play him, or how you feel about him. He's a great character, of course, so I'll leave it on that note, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.